Think of a bubble. Now picture that same bubble being tens of millions of square miles wide. That's an air mass. In order for us to predict what tomorrow's temperature will be, we first have to know what kind of bubble or air mass is heading our way. Because where an air mass forms will mean the difference between experiencing a heat wave or a blizzard. Air masses are divided into groups. They can either form over land or over the oceans. In some place very warm or some place very cold. Air masses can also be wet or dry. Water in the ocean evaporates and becomes water vapor in the air. Any air mass that forms over land will not have water vapor in it and therefore will be dry. Why is it important to know the difference between these four air masses? Because when one of these massive bubbles moves overhead, the air temperature outside will now have the characteristics of whatever type of air mass just blew in. If it's a cold air mass coming from the poles, our air temperature will get colder. If it's a warm air mass moving up from the equator, our air temperature will get warmer. And if there's water in at least one of those air masses, get ready for a wild ride. Because where air masses meet is where we experience storms.